show presents Boys Don't Cry with me, Russell Kane, together with ASOS. Welcome to Boys Don't Cry with me, Russell Kane, brought to you by Joe, together with our friends at ASOS. Mm, that's right, it's a muscle fit, long line, new look, khaki. <laughs> Uh, I'm joined today by stand-up comedian and filmmaker yeah. Joe Bohr and filmmaker now. Yeah, I'll do a bit of film. Did you yeah, yeah. phone and say please add and filmmaker on <laughs> cheeky sod? It's, story, Cal, it's it? the Kiss FM breakfast show DJ Tom Green. Hello. And television presenter Layla Anna Lee. Hello. Is Anna Lee your surname? Anna, yeah. Anna hyphen Lee. Only I made it up. Right. So so I was going to say it's quite now. weird to have yeah, Christian names as surnames. It. It'd be like me being called Russell Derrick or something. Three first names. Yeah. Cool. So I'm joined by not too, t- I suppose the you could argue not two typical blokes. Both of you talk for a living. Yeah. yeah. One talks and is amusing for a living, which yeah. means you're a depressive in private. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one literally can have to fill minutes and minutes without thin air. So I always think it's miraculous what DJs do mm. and go, oh, I've got to, I'm going to fill five minutes here just to without breakfast. Yeah. What do you have? What is your favourite type of sausage? And then you just, <laughs> and you're totally. That's a good. great bit. I should do that. Like, that's a real good bit. No, but you know what I mean? You are a talker for yeah. a living. So does that follow through to your private life, I... DJ Tom Green? <laughs> Thanks for that. That was the full title. Um, I think I try and talk about stuff, but I'm just not very good at it. So like, I know I should talk, and I try and attempt to go, hey, we should we should talk about this. But then as soon as there's an opposing opinion to mine, I'm just like, screw you. That's not that's not right. And this happens to me like this happened to me like last week. Like I was new, I needed to talk about something with my girlfriend, but. When we got into it, I was like, hey, I, I, I don't think I actually want to do this. I actually don't like the fact you disagree with me. And uh, Joe? Um, I liked, I liked uh, to talk. You, can you, can you get, say, I've got a problem, let's sit down and talk it. Uh, I've got to be honest, sometimes I get off stage, yeah. I'm doing four or five gigs a week, I'm yeah, touring, yeah, yeah. I might have done telly and stuff like this during the day, and uh, Lindsay will be like, do you mind if we just talk about something? I'll go, do you know what, yeah, I, all I want to do is sit like Jack Nicholson in the last frame of The Shining when he's frozen <laughs> against the bush with a depressed face <laughs> and I just get, sob myself. I know what you mean. I, I get out of my system when, I, when I'm on stage a little bit. Um, I like to talk out arguments. Like I, I, I do like to resolve before I go to bed. Um, well, we'll, oh, move on to, we'll move on to arguments man. in a minute. I'm just getting yeah. your, your general, are you a man that can talk? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like it. Strong sign. I don't right mind if it. <laughs> I don't mind if it's via text. Um, oh wow! Is that uh, a preference? WhatsApp. I don't mind a bit of that. Um, a WhatsApp I, argument. Well, a WhatsApp chat. I don't mind. Right. When my friends call, it's a bit weird. Like if I've got a mate who will call. Like I've, I've got a couple of mates who call. And it's just weird now. I find it a bit weird. Yeah, call for a catch-up. My mate, my mate yeah. Wayne's like, oh, Russ, how you doing? Just call in for a catch-up. Cool, what do you, what do you need? <laughs> we could have done it yeah. in text. Do you, yeah. are, are, Layla, are, are girls better at this? Were they? T- do you still get phone calls or are phone calls died in the female community as well? I think they're dying full stop everywhere. But I think us girls are better at it. I'll stand by that. I would think one of, your, still would one of your girls phone you up and go, Leah, what's happening? And you'll be like, yeah, what do you need? And you'll be like, no, I'm just calling for a catch-up. That's literally the conversation. That's exactly how it would go. I was just like, what do you want? Like, get to the point. No, no, we're not. I don't know. We're just, we're, we're all rushing a lot nowadays as well. And WhatsApp gets to the point. You don't say on WhatsApp, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, what's happening? I want that, though. Yeah. I want someone to ring me. Yeah. But we should like, do I that. Wish, I yeah, that. like, I would love to. So, just ring me up? Yeah, I'll just ring you. That'd be lovely, man. And we're more how conscious. Are you? <laughs> we're more yeah, conscious of how that. important that is. So I kind yeah. of try and forcibly, like, with one of my best friends, try and forcibly have a call every Friday and check up how she is and just chat and not just have the WhatsApp conversation. Mm. Because on WhatsApp, mm. everyone's like, yeah, I'm cool. And it's like, are you, though? Are you all right? Like when there's a phone conversation, you're more likely to go, yeah, I'm all right. It was a bit shit this morning, though, because this happened or that happened. So it's yeah. going to be different than on text. None of it's yeah. as good as face-to-face. 100%. Yeah. But all the research suggests, and you can imagine the amount of nerdy delving I've done, that phone calls, none of it stands in for a face-to-face cup of tea check-in. That's when you get the real yeah. shit. And in our increasingly busy lives, it just it just never happens. I mean, that would be weird if you weren't expect it. All right, Darren? Yeah, I just thought I'd drop around for a cuppa. <laughs> what I'd, are you doing? I'd run into the kitchen, put the kettle on, then I'd call the police. And <laughs> yeah. That's the Darren worst part is going of it. to kill you. <laughs> we think they're crazy. If someone just popped around and didn't say anything, we'd yeah. actually think they were not well. Like that's really strange. Do you do you find you might be more averse to? We're not talking about arguing, by the way. This is, we're just talking about communication to start with. Do you do you think you might be more averse to talking things out face to face if your parents were a bit less talky, discussy? Do you think that has an impact? Yeah. Joe, what were yours like? Well, my my my, my dad is. Uh... My dad's pretty bad. They're both eccentrics, and I, that's probably why I do stand up. What do you mean, like my, my, my the dad. artisans? Though? Yeah, they, well, they're just quite loud, big characters. They love it. They love an argument, um, and I think I grew. I think I probably do stand up because I wanted to be heard. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You wanted, I wanted someone to sort of listen to me, and I think I, I probably am crying out for a chat. <laughs> you okay? You're welcome, Joe. Yeah. I'm just going to have a hug for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it seems like we're naturally drifting into what today's subject is about, which is arguing, uh, reasoning, arguing things out, and talking. Yeah. So, you're, would you not? You wouldn't have sat down with your parents and, and had a discussion about, "Oh my God, I'm not feeling too good," or is that would that not happen in your house? No, no. I kind of wish. What did your old man do then? My dad was a, a, a film censor, so he, he took the good things out of the films. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That's like the worst. <laughs> <laughs> for a porn walking. Yeah, he literally. I think your porn was just like black lines going into <laughs> a black over mouth. It's like, Dad, please, can I just peel off the black rectangles for one wanking session? <laughs> he literally, he t- something like ninety-seven percent of films that are released are porn. So he literally watched porn. All the, I mean, that's that was your dad's forearm. Was really <laughs> massive. That was I mean, excuse. your dad's forearms were like, just, <laughs> I'm going to get a Popeye tattoo on either. Like, it would that, just be one arm. Yeah, he would just yeah, have yeah. one huge. Is arm. that the job title he told you? You. That's what he told me. Right. He yeah, yeah, yeah. been unemployed yeah. since 1994, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> I can't believe I've got to watch Anal Virgin 7 again. <laughs> I didn't quite get the classification right. Just making sure. <laughs> Tom, what about your mum, mum and dad? Both alive? Divorced? What's the setup? Do uh, they argue a lot? They're together, both alive. I've never seen them argue. Oh which my is god. Insane. Yeah. So talk so us through your background. It's like the opposite of me. It's so weird. So my dad was an electrician. That run his, uh, ran his own firm in Preston, and my mum worked for my dad. And I never, ever saw them argue in my 22 years and of living. And they worked and lived together. And they, they worked argue. and lived together. But some people say that's an unhealthy thing. That's what I mean. So, I, But for me, this is what's really weird. For me, that was normal, right? So it's only now that I've grown up a bit and I've been in, like, three different serious relationships that I'm like, oh, no, you people do argue. Because as soon as I get in an argument, I'd be like, oh, this is it then. Relationship's over. That's right. it, game over, so done. You'd, wow. you'd not learn how to argue. No, not at all. You, from your parents, probably. No, I don't think I still have, though. I still don't think, like, I'm 24, I still don't think I know how to... It does take learning. Like, it isn't something that comes naturally. And potentially your parents were really impressive because did they just hide it really well or did it not happen? Mm. They might have just hid it. I once saw my mum have an argument with my... And I say that, like, there was That's one cool. up there. I don't know what it was about, but my mum left the kitchen and put up the washing. And I just knew she was sad while doing it. And I was like, I don't know what's happened here, but she's really sad doing the washing. It's quite rare in like wow. a working yeah. class house tends to be more vocal. Like you can imagine an electrician dad being like, we need to have this out, Diane. <laughs> Whereas middle class people are like, not in front of the children. <laughs> don't talk Oliver. about it. Into the dining room, Oliver. <laughs> uh, so what's your background, Layla? Mum, dad on the scene? So. Divorced. So you sure you want to ask this question? Uh-oh, go Uh-oh. on. Well, I think, uh, there's one podcast that can take any answer that's going to come my way. It's going to be this one. Go on. Um, I'm really surprised you've gone down this road and it's actually couldn't be more perfect, sort of the storyline and the example that I can give you. My mum is Brazilian, uh, still alive. Being Brazilian, cries, screams, throws, like very emotionally open, mm-hmm. talks a lot, wonderful at communicating and arguing, and our family in Brazil arguments happen all the time, and they're not arguments, they're debates. It's normal. We can love each other and tell each other that you were an idiot today. That's normal. And that is the, that is the ster- some stereotypes are true, aren't they? Yeah, like more Mediterranean and more Latino cultures definitely. Like, yeah, we know how Brazil, to talk. Like, doing like a capoeira movement, going, I hate you, you bastard. Yeah. And just spinning back out of. No, I can the fully room scream that and tell my mum, I hate her, she's such a pain in the ass, never want to see her again, and come around 10 minutes later and it'd be cool. Like, That's mental, wow. Yeah, it t- happens. Um, the other side of it is my dad, British, Irish, Scottish descent, very focused and hardworking. Um, he worked as a computer consultant and, and very stiff upper lip. Um, British, didn't really like to talk, didn't really like to argue, and he committed suicide when I was 10 years old. Um, A lot of the problems that piled up, like, genuinely, we never really know why someone does that, but you Mm. can... And it's so much, it's so in the news at the moment, it's on the increase. It's the the number one cause of death, I'm pretty sure, for men under 40, it's the number one... number one killer, right? It's the number one killer. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a big thing, so and this, men this, not talking is a massive part of This goes back to Tom's that. point about how not arguing yeah. can be less he- healthy. It's like a surface calm. And- it festers, it builds up, like even little things. And I talk about the silliest things. Like you go into a shop and there's a woman chatting to the girl who's serving you and they're chatting for like 10 minutes, 12 minutes and not serving you. Pisses you off a little bit. You're not going to tell her off, you just go, you pay. You and I walk out and I'll meet my friend or whatever and be like, oh, that was really annoying. Whereas men might not necessarily mention those little things. And they pile mm. up. They mm. pile up. 
And even tiny things, bigger things, or sometimes being avoidant of arguing. You guys, if it's a big thing and you don't want, I'm saying you guys, I'm tying all the men with one brush because yeah. it makes it easier it's for the podcast. It's very common though, isn't it? It's, it's common. You don't want to be um, combative. You don't necessarily want to argue. And my whole point about everything is like, argument's good. Like you can still love each other and fight. Have you got any girls in your group that would speak to the girl behind the counter because like Lindsay it's my life a living nightmare I've got to stand up about it at the moment like that situation you just described would not happen yeah. she wouldn't turn around and discuss it with the girl she'd be like excuse me I've been waiting here for 10 minutes why are you ignoring me Good why are you not her. making eye contact excuse me thank you I will she'll be like warming up <laughs> she'll warm up her trip advisor fingers in front of someone <laughs> blowing on oh, getting ready for the just warming up for the review Biarch turn around Good. finish your phone and acknowledge me I'm a customer that's northern as well yeah so like, but those are the stuff. options you either yeah. say it out there and then hold it and let it out somewhere else later or do nothing and it's the yeah. do nothing that's dangerous see i've got the opposite my wife won't complain but she would complain to me mm. which i think is worse oh she's piling it all on she's you? like yeah she, she'll she'll sort of she'll sort of tell me this is awful this is terrible <laughs> do something so i've got to bloody do something you're the yeah. punch bag so it's on me <laughs> yeah exactly uh, and then what do you like, do with the it? man that absorbs yeah. it and then throws the rays back out. <laughs> yeah. Which one is Bang. that? Yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, what do you do with that? Because you've got yours and hers, right? Yeah, exactly. Double whammy. She's passed it on. She's smart. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Yeah, I, well, not the right thing, always. Yeah. Um, Just get another lock on the spare room, continue <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> so, uh, Layla, are you all right to talk about your yeah, dad? You don't find yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm fine. I didn't want to bring the whole podcast down. No, 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 but I just, I've got <laughs> to push yeah. that door a little bit more because you put Go that information out there. So, where, so were your parents together when this happened? Where were you living? They were. I was living at home. I was 10 years old. So in the um, UK, I mean. Yeah, in the UK. So my mum came over, married a British man, stayed, loved England. Um, yeah, married my dad and stayed here, very happy. Had me, then had my sister. My sister was months old, I think, very young. <gasps> when my and there was died. no, war there was no warning. Was it? Was it? Was he a depressive? Was he stressed? Was it? Was it dead? I mean, at my age, me I wasn't aware of it. No, but in hindsight, no. yes, there were signs. My ha my dad was highly intelligent, like Mensa level, um, brilliant at what he did. And sometimes you have that sort of madness to genius, sort of swing um he was going through a court case at the time which is obviously a huge amount yeah. of stress for someone to carry falling out with his best friend there'd been a few things like that um but in general something that was consistent with my dad is that he didn't solve his problems like co by communicating like he wouldn't mm. say right this is a problem let's talk about it it would be right this is a problem let's bury that mm. and and that you know that stuck. Is, uh, we talked about this before it's, it's worth recapping it's a very very when I first started this podcast, I got stick for daring to point out there were differences between the genders, which is now very unfashionable. There, basically, there, there are no genders, really. You shouldn't, you shouldn't even really say there are. But I'm sorry, the statistics don't fucking lie. There appears to be difference in behaviours amongst what we call male and female at the moment. And as far as I can observe... My female friends and my female guests and all my mums and aunties, they talk about a problem when there's no solution. They're oh. not bothered about whether there's a solution. It's just for the act of talking. So, yeah. in your example, the girl was rude to me behind the counter. It can't be changed. You're not going to go back in. But let's bitch about the girl for five minutes. The stupid bitch with the fake extensions that didn't serve me properly. <laughs> properly. Bitch, 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 we all feel better. Men tend to think... Oh, Joe, what's the point in wasting oxygen? Or That's saying my whole it can't thing. be altered. If it can't, like, think of it like a Haynes yeah. manual. You can't open it. It's not on page eight. Don't want to talk about it. it can't be solved. Yeah. But it would because suggest, something else coming off the back solved. of what Layla's yeah. saying, that yeah. there is a balm, a soothing effect, just for saying shit and yeah. getting stuff out there, even if it can't be solved, right? Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have stand up, I wouldn't talk. I wouldn't. <laughs> Joe the mute. <laughs> Joe the I mute. think he wants to eat. He's hungry. He's tapping the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, w I wouldn't say anything. I'm really jealous of my wife who has these. I mean, I have a go at her for these mundane conversations she has with her mates, just like, like just updating them. Literally, they just have these conversations. It really winds me up because she's just there in the living room having really loud conversations while I'm trying to watch my football. Stroke Love Island. Stroke Celebrity <laughs> Dating. Um, but she's having those sort of conversations, just updating. And I'd love to be able to call my mates and just be like, "Hey, how are you? What are you doing?" You know. But we just don't. We have these arguments on WhatsApp about you know various sort of political things that are going on at the moment and I always end up leaving the WhatsApp group. Well, you're, you're lucky it's that because yeah. my experience of, 
like the difference between the WhatsApp groups, like I'll peer over Lindsay's shoulder, there's a bit of banter on there, but as soon as like someone's cheated or someone's liked a friend's Instagram picture, oh my God, what does it mean? Like we've not been getting on lately. Are you okay, babe? Do you want to come around? And I just look at my WhatsApp group and there's a goat being wanked off. Yeah, by yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's it. I mean, no, like, oh, you seen that one? What's this goat being wanked off? I'm like, <laughs> guys, come on, man. <laughs> Darren's getting a divorce. Oh no, yeah, but Darren loves seeing a goat get wanked off. Like, oh my God. It's like, you really have to hold out for that. I probably yeah, didn't yeah. need the mime there. Anyone on you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do, you, yeah. do you think that I'm not sure I'm sceptical about this I want to, your opinion as well Tom is that people are like well that's why you know men get depressed because they don't talk about stuff but I think mm. we've got to be quite careful about saying quiet people are depressed because it's not necessarily the case because then we're sort of labelling all introverts who don't need to share as being depressed do you think that's yeah. the case with you the less you share the more depressed you are sometimes you're like you know what I'm fucking cool in the premier inn on my own with my curry takeaway and my Netflix I'm not depressed in fact I'm in my fucking element in my complimentary dressing gown back <laughs> off I think I'm alright because I've found, I've found ways of dealing with it through stand, stand up is, is a therapy isn't it and I think through going to the gym and things like that I've found ways of sort of being being, being happy you know writing and, and, uh, and all that <laughs> I've just got an image of you jogging like that <laughs> <laughs> it a does. smile on your face like, oh, oh. <laughs> it does I Jim did... Carrey jogging <laughs> oh right <yeah. laughs> I did the marathon 11 years ago still counts <laughs> and, and I finished and I couldn't stop smiling I think it really? does yeah I couldn't physically couldn't stop myself from smiling I reckon you, you, probably, you probably see that at the end of the marathon Everyone's exercise has going. been proven to 100%. Yeah. endorphins though yeah. yeah I mean I've never had a serious chat on the WhatsApp group with my group of boys. It's never happened. It's hard, isn't it? In yeah. the, well, that's your in the audience sixth... as well, though, isn't it? It's like with comedy. I mean, if you think about it, the way you guys write stuff and practice it in front of one audience and then perfect it in front of another and then, you know, maybe you've said it three or four times before you've got it perfectly bang on. Yeah. That's therapy. That's getting it out of your system. That's talking about it. That's perfecting it. And that's what us girls do all the time. Like, yeah. we're telling yeah. that story. We're getting it out of our system. And you're right when we talk about... Um, not saying this, you know, not talking causes depression or not talking means you're going to die. Like, that's obviously not the case, but it's a major factor. Yes, it can be a red I think flag. It's a it can be a red flag. major factor. It can Absolutely. be a massive red flag. So do you, what do you think, Tom? Just before, we've got to go into a break now. When we come back, we're going to talk about arguing. It's slightly more juicy, how men and women argue in relationships. Yeah. We're going to get into no, that shit. Not. They love. <laughs> no, we're fucking not. I would say, I also think it's a British thing. I think it's a very English thing. To not to not talk. My, my wife's very English, and she comes from a very English family, and she's she's a bit like you know, she, her. She come from Jewish like, background. Um, yeah. yeah, Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, so that definitely more verbal. Yeah, my Jewish <laughs> friends that definitely talk the shit out of everything. Yeah, yeah. So, so are Jewish good. men more mentally healthy then by by our weird theory we've just put <laughs> up? Because I know a yeah. lot of neurotic Jewish blokes. Yeah, I think so. I think they talk. Um, Woody Allen never stops apt. talking. Look at the state of that fucker. <laughs> but even socialising, right? As Brits don't yeah. socialise that much, therefore we don't True. talk that the much either. Culture. A kinda, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Tom. the only ever time me and my friends get together, and I live, I live in London. They live in Preston. Is if we're going for a night out. Have that's it. Any ethnic background you're cooking, Tom? At all? Have you? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. No, no. absolutely not. It's no. just interesting to get because when Layla comes out, something like that about the Brazilian side, I yeah. find it fascinating that where you're born can make a massive difference on how much you share yeah. your yeah. What's going on in your head? Literally born and bred Preston. I don't know where mum and dad. I mean, mum and dad are from around there as well. But like me and the boys will never ever talk no. about a series. Northern's worse than southern. One hundred percent. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Like <laughs> I split up with my girlfriend and. I've had my mates go, you're right, yep, yeah, cool, right, should we have this night out? And that's, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. the whole, yeah, yeah. that's the whole chat. That, that, the, ma yeah. the male approach to singleness is, you're right, well, just think about the Vajganistan you're about to go into. <laughs> Your pelvis is going to be going like a sewing machine in a power set. You're going to be banging like a tribal chief with a drum on ket. <laughs> Stop whinging. Get out of there. Bang, bang, bang. And that, that is yeah. just the male approach. Yeah. Positive thinking. Yeah, it's well, it in a way, really. Yeah. You can end up sobbing and shagging, <laughs> which no woman needs to see. The crank. The cry <laughs> wank. I hate it. Oh, the cry Don't wank. Don't talk about it. Before you hit your break, though, you know what you do have, yeah. though, in Britain is that, well, which we have in Brazil, in Brazil as well, if not more so, is that football culture. So at yeah. least with meeting up for the football, going to the game, that's an opportunity yeah. where men are talking, but shouting, I, physically getting But it's, not done, yeah. it's, it's, it's done by a proxy, isn't it? It's, done, it's yeah. on the sport. But I also think, like, I'm not a massive sports fan. Mm. I'm not really into football. You have nowhere to let your emotions out. I have out. nowhere to go. What? <laughs> yeah, so, like, it, that's great if you're into sport, but if you're not into sport, you kind of pay into a bit of a corner where you don't really know to go, where to go with it. Which is why you probably talk about sausages for breakfast for 25 exactly, minutes that's on the radio. What, that's a radio show. What is your favourite time for sausage? <laughs> Right, we're going to take a break now. We're going to be back with more Boys Don't Cry in just a moment. But first, here's Chris Lloyd with something else from Joe. 
Welcome to TKO here on Joe with me, Chris Lloyd, and Carl Frampton. We're a podcast and YouTube show. We're with you every Thursday. Uh, we have special guests like this man, Fist Bump. Um, and uh, Carl, why is the show so good? Sell, sell it to the public. Um, I want to talk about your fist pump more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't talk about that kind of thing on air. Uh, what was wrong with the fist pump? So it was a rather feminine it fist pump. Let's go ahead. There you go. You can hear, you can feel it. You can feel it. Look forward to surgery. Um, (laughs) So just for for those of you listening, that's the voice of David Hay, of course, uh, former unified cruiserweight champion of the world, former heavyweight champion of the world. That's the sort of quality that you can expect to make up for um, certainly my lack of quality. Carl's doing all right, though. I think Carl's doing a good job. I feel like I do my job well. Yeah. Solid. You're solid, solid, yeah. (laughs) What's your fist bump like? Good fist. Oh, um, so that's basically what you can look forward to uh, on Joe TK. We're into round 90. If you haven't caught up with any of them, they're all on YouTube right now. And um, we look forward to you joining us soon. Take care. Now, <laughs> it's time for a word from our sponsor. Only it's going to be creepily read out by me. <laughs> Which I still just cannot get used to. Sausages. Yeah. Boys Don't Cry is proud to be sponsored by ASOS Design. It's my absolute go-to brand for the white t-shirt, black jean look, which I pull off, although not today, I'm in khaki, just in case war breaks out during the Brexit negotiation. (laughs) I can disappear into a bit of topiary or like a a bush peacock. Some of you will be slaughtered by angry Remainers and Brexiteers. (laughs) Slated both equally. (laughs) To be honest, if it wasn't for ASOS, do you know what I'd be wearing today? Nothing. My cock and bollocks would be resting on this desk because my pants Pants, socks, trainers, jeans. I live out of those long before I was sponsored on this podcast. Do you know why? Lazy, can't make decisions. Before ASOS, I just used to go into a shop, point at the mannequin and go, make me look like that one. <laughs> and now it magically appears through the post. You can try it on, send it back, and they've just extended their return date policy. Bang. 45 days Lovely. staring at a black T-shirt thinking, is it for me? <laughs> <laughs> so do try it. Uh, it gives you the confidence to push the boat out, lads, and try something new, make you more manly, just like I've become. Um, you don't have to look like me. If you do, we do have counselling and fact sheets you can get from the website. Please contact me. ASOS, created and styled for you, by you, ASOS Design. Check out the latest pieces on asos.com forward slash men. Right, we're at Boys Don't Cry. We're supposed to be talking about arguing, but we've ended up. Let's get on to the juice, Layla Anna Lee. Yes. I want to talk about arguing. Right. Single at the moment? No, I'm married. You're married? Yeah, I've nailed arguing, so I get to keep it. You're right. So... Have you you married a British guy or a Brazilian guy? British guy. British guy. So what are we like at arguing? I think there is a difference here between men and women. My Now, obviously, I'm making massive generalisation. That's all we can do on a podcast and then pick it apart. I think men combine long periods of silence with non-communication, followed by explosive door slamming, fist through the telly, walk out the house style of arguing. They are very much our two modes. Don't want to talk about it. I'll fucking rip the light out of the ceiling then (laughs) down to the pub. There's not so much American back and forth talking and yeah. discussing our issues. And if you do, you feel really self-conscious and silly doing it. Layla and Alay, happily married. What is your experience? Well, I can break most of our problems down into two things. Go one, on. it's something we need to talk about, something we need to solve. And the second one is you need to have a coffee and go for an exercise. Like someone needs a run. Like you need to go right. for a run. You just pick like... Sometimes you can tell if someone's missing something in their life that's important to them, like exercise. For my husband, he needs to yeah. exercise like every day. Running Loves it. What does Running your fella do? Is he a sports person or something? Uh, no, he's actually a stay-at-home dad. So, yeah. Oh, wow. um, so it's even more important. He's yeah, that he has his own time for him, Get right? Get out of the house. Exactly. So he likes to run, he likes to work out. And if he's not at the gym or if he hasn't been, if he hasn't been at the gym or gone for a run for at least three days... Guaranteed on so the fourth day we'll argue second. about something. He's a good communicating toned domestic god, is he? <laughs> yeah, Anyone else hating this fucker? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough from enough from you. <laughs> just move on, just move on. He's probably doing some sit-ups now again. Is it time for the feed yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's a saint. It's, I just yeah. need to do my UNICEF voluntary work this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> While practicing my Italian verb. Fuck off! No one needs to know about this guy. Yeah. Sounds a bit too perfect. <laughs> so so it's so like, there's, like, there's, either, there's an issue that needs tackling, or yeah. it's time to do some guided meditation. Take a breath, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, Chill like out, sometimes Darren. it's just I'm stressed, I'm worked up, I haven't been able to exercise, I haven't had my coffee today, right? Sometimes it's something that's little. And, and what was your last argument? What was it about? Uh, you this morning. Share? About oh, really? him not communicating. Hang on a second. <laughs> you had an argument this morning. Yeah, 100%. About him not communicating properly. Yeah. That's like a meta argument, it's isn't it? It's bizarre. Yeah, exactly. 
a better argument. Yeah, you know, when you're at I the mean... end of an argument and go, what we're actually arguing about, see, this is the problem with this argument. You've just remarked yeah. on how I'm arguing with you. And That's you just, where you give up, I think. You when you're <laughs> arguing about the argument, yeah. you've got into much. I hate, much. You I'm like, I hate we this. We need to have a discussion about how we have discussions. Yeah. This is me, I said this one. Layla, if I'm allowed to push you, what was it he was being accused of not communicating about? So, um... <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I feel bad now. But I'm I'm quite particular. I like things in a certain way. Thank you. We're going to be friends. Yeah, I'm a real minimalist. My house slightly OCD. Everything's perfect. Okay. Beat him to death with the bean tin that wasn't in the correct place. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the fridge... <laughs> The shelves in the fridge weren't how I like them. So, like, the butter and the gels, or, uh, the sauces and stuff are at the top. The filthy okay. pig. Have you, Listen, have you looked up women's shelters? We've discussed this before. <laughs> and I'm like, there's two ways to go about this. Either I fight this whole OCD in the way I like it, or we just do the fridge my way. And it's so much easier to just fucking make the fridge neat, right? It's not the end of the world. So I mean, it's, it's also better. It's objectively better to have a tidy fridge. Exactly. Sorry, guys. And keep in mind, I'm away a lot. I travel away loads. So he can use the fridge however the hell he likes when I'm not there. Mm. But when I'm here, just put it in this order. Now, that's not what we argued about. That was the beginning of the argument. Right. The fridge wasn't in the order. I didn't say anything. It was whatever. But it's just mm. annoying. He sees me rearranging the fridge. He already feels like, without anyone even saying anything, he already feels like, oh, yeah, I failed because that's just uh, so rearranging you come back it. into the domestic domain and you're, so you're doing a you've not done this correctly display. Play Without even saying, and he's it. taken that personally. Yeah, right. So that, but nothing was said in that. He just saw it, felt it. I did it. Done. Later on, I think I asked him to trim the dog's paws before I go out because I didn't have time and I need to do this and da da da. And we talked and we had a plan of like three or four things we need to do before I came out to this. Um, and then I just, he was just sat in the living room chilling, and I'm like, dude, are you not gonna do any of those things? He's like, oh, you mean now? And I was like. Yeah, like now, like today. Like, why aren't you communicating with me? If you don't want to do it and you've got something else you need to do, and he's like, oh, because I need to do X, Y, and Z. I was like, well, then tell me. Yeah. Like, if I'm saying, can you do A, B, C, don't, like, just go, yeah, okay, if you've actually got other plans. Like, just say yeah. I can't do it, mm. and that's cool. I'm like, just communicate with me, and please. Was, and was it resolved before you left the house, or is that is this one brewing for when you return? It, it was, <laughs> and will there be a fridge audit as you walk in? <laughs> there were WhatsApp messages when I got on the train of, like, and sorry resolved. I was a bit moody. Heart shape. But it's those, yeah, exactly. But it's those aubergine. little things. <laughs> no aubergine. No aubergine. And we're not at that point yet in the argument, I don't think. When I see the aubergine, I'm like, we're cool. Yeah, we could. <laughs> Thank God away with it. Thank God. <laughs> I know I sound like a completely mental. No, but not at all. Listen, listen. It's this just is about it, communicating. Yeah, it's good, it's good to hear. So, Tom, what's your? Are you single at the moment? No, no I got a girlfriend. Got a girl, yeah, yeah. We, sorry, we always that. So, Tom, with your yeah. girl, Tom, with your girl, mine. Tom, with your girlfriend, what's yeah. the style of argument? Are you uh, don't communicate properly while well, she's like, Tom, we need to talk about this. No, see, I'm. I know I should talk about stuff, so I encourage the chat. So I'm like, we need to talk about this. Like, I know you're not happy. Like, let's talk Give about it. Give me an it. example. Um, Last thing we argued about. Uh, Go there. So we argued. Go there, fella. You're helping others. <laughs> <laughs> we argued. I told um, you not in my hair, you dirty I, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> um, two days ago, we argued about. So it's her birthday night out tonight, actually. And I've got my boys over on Saturday. So there's no crossover. No. Her night out is on Friday. Exactly. My boys are here on Saturday. But cut and dry. Yeah, easy. But apparently, my boys coming over was overshadowing Ugh. her birthday. But I'm like, <laughs> I was overshadowing the birthday because I was thinking about the boys right. thing maybe more than. And I mean, yeah. being to play unfair. devil's advocate, have you arranged everything for Saturday night and have no idea what you're doing Friday? By any <laughs> no. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no. I see what's happening. Yeah, here. I mean, elbow drop. <laughs> bang. So I'm like. So then she's obviously annoyed but won't talk about it. Right. So I'm like, okay, let's talk about this. And then as soon as I feel under attack, I'm like, fuck you, okay, see you later. And I'm like, that's not probably the best way to deal with that, is no. it? Not yeah, the double no, fingers. Did good. you dunk double fingers with Moonwalk? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Moonwalk out of the kitchen. Screw you, baby, I'm going to bed. The double fingers with reverse walkout will enrage your <laughs> Yeah, in, in my mind, it's hilarious. <laughs> Going around the corner with it like that, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and so where was that left? Uh, where Friday was that left? No, absolutely not. No, I'm going. Obviously, tonight's all good. I'm going along. I just felt like I should have maybe been more attentive about Friday, being like, you know, it's important to her. But you're at so. the Friday event, right? Yeah, of course I am. So does she? Does she feel like you're going to be holding off on your drinking and celebrating? That's exactly it. And you're like, I'm not going to get too wankered because obviously I've got a two night party, and you should oh. be like, no, Saturday you should be hung over to fuck, drink sparkling water with your mates because Friday is my night. It's the thing. So if we're getting wankered, you're getting wankered with me. There is this thing in couples where like, if we're going to both going to be drunk, we want to go to the same level of drunk, yeah. which gets yeah, ruined yeah, yeah. when you're a stand up the whole time. Because if me and Lindsay get a date night, I'm always. 
second thinking about the gig the next night and I'll yeah. only have one glass of wine where she might want me to have two because she's got dastardly plans for me. <laughs> uh, and you've always got your eye on that. But with work, it's slightly different because it's something I can't change. You've elected to yeah. have your mates over. You've got yeah. a, a liver budget for the weekend. Yeah. Your liver budget is... 10 beers, <laughs> and you're now skewing your liver budget towards Into the boys. Yeah, see. And the birthday was obviously That's in the diary before point. the boys. Oh, no. But ha- they live in Preston, so they can't. I mean, I'm getting into this now. They yeah, live in, in, we they, need to. They live in Preston, so they don't come to London that much. Have you spent most of the week talking about how excited you are about Saturday? Potentially. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I can feel her. Right but we're now. going on holiday. We're going, we're going to Abu Dhabi the week after for her actual birthday. Yeah, but she wanted the Friday, is what she wants. I it's spent like so much money on the present that she's not seen yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's surely bought me some credit. But she doesn't know that though. When does this go out? Could have just bought the surprise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she knows I spent a lot of money because I told her. Yeah. So, but she wants you chucking out Drake fingers middle of the dance floor Friday. Yeah. Oh, listen, not sat in the corner. Go well, you know, I've got friends coming over tomorrow. Let's not go too wild. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> having it. Both nights I'm going to be having it. We'll see. Same for the big one. So, Joe, go on then. How, what type of argue are you? Are you a, a, a silent, reasonable, followed by a door slam, fist through the plaster type guy, or are you somewhere in between, or are you just not argue at all? What's uh, your approach? I like to be right, according to my wife. Um, <laughs> is she correct on that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Again. no. <laughs> uh, we, we are. I like to, as I said, I like to sort of have it out before we go to bed, and she just wants to sort of sleep. She uh, she saves it all up for one big argument. Right. That's what she does. Uh, so I have to up. guess. If she's angry a lot of the time, just from the way she she sort of looks, she's very English. Oh right, is so it third like, letter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's normally. I mean, we're in a similar situation. I, I, I gig. I've got, I've got a toddler, um, so it's always normally about sort of time spent with her mm. and gigs that I'm doing. So I've got to sort of balance that. Mm. Where I've got, it's usually I've, I've got to come straight home after a gig. I mean, I don't. I probably don't have to. <laughs> uh, I probably. I think I do have to. And last night I didn't. Um, oh and, no! Uh, what did I you think do? I'm what did you right. do? I just had. A, I just had a pint, mate. I just oh had a no! Pint. But she did. A oh, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. think attention is something men never want to say. Like they never want to say, "I feel like you're not giving me enough attention," and yeah. that's generally. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! A I'm lot the neediest guy in the world. Are you? Oh yeah. I'm the neediest guy out You're there. You're talking to two stand-ups, you get no yeah. yeah. I, mean, I literally will take a thousand strangers' attention every night <laughs> and need it again the next night. Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely, yeah. So I feel like I tell I'm like, hey, you're not talking to me enough. I'm really? like, hello, hi, hi, hi. But see, that's communicating. That's good. Yeah. Do you do that? Yeah, uh, yes, I will say you look good, and then I'll wait, and I'll be like, what, what about me? I did that last night. That's yeah. adorable. Yeah. How about you? But you don't want us to lie, Joe, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be honest in a relationship. Like, you're yeah. a kind person. <laughs> more of his personality sort of thing. You you're really kind. Kind of drawing. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so let's talk about shouting, raised voices. Let's not dress it up. The aggression. We're talking about physical aggression, and obviously no one around this table hits each other, I hope. <laughs> uh, but it is still within the paradigm of aggression to point and shout, mm. spittle, flying swear words. How far do you go from naught up to ten? Um, you know, what, what's the furthest you would go or have been? I'm sure I have shout. I'm sure I've shouted a bit. Oh God! I've yeah. got. I've definitely got better in this relationship before. Were well, you a shouter? I wasn't so much as a shouter as a destroyer. I've never at Touchwood hit another human being, even a man, in my entire life. Even though at my corporate last week, someone tried to punch me in the face and hit my ear. I'll tell you about it after. Um, but uh, I have I have been known to just lose it in an argument. Oh yeah, well let's see what we think about this, and then fist through the fucking plaster, through the wall. Wow, yeah, thing. I've, really? I've ripped a gear stick out of a car. I've got out of wow. a car, ripped a wing mirror off. Yeah. This is before but this that's relationship. That's channeling anger, isn't it? It I mean, is. With the most of the top, you can tell you've got yeah. that in you. <laughs> but it's it's, it's the uncontrollable. Yeah. Ray, I put a, a laptop. I've done. I've done a TV. Wow. Uh, see, would you say off. that wow. had you communicated your problems earlier, it wouldn't have gotten that bad? It's what it is. Is the arg- the argument starts blah blah blah. I, I, who knows what they're about? These these are previous relationships. Yeah. This, is, this is a problem I got under control before Lindsay. Yeah. But I know my theory is at least seventy percent of men and a good proportion of women react like this in an argument. It just yeah. gets to a point where it's so heated. Mm. And if you're not someone that could hurt another person, which thank God I'm not, yeah. something is going to get hit. You've just the trip switch in from the. 
There's a brilliant book called The Chimp Paradox, which I'd recommend, which you've got your monkey part, your brain, and the human part. The monkey part is like, ah, just, that just reacts on instinct. Yeah. If it goes, it goes. And for me, it, was, it, the, wow. it could be a door slam. It could, it could be just a smash of glass. No, no one was ever hurt. Nothing, no, no, you know, it's never cost me thousands of pounds apart, apart from the laptop screen, I suppose. Wow. But uh, yeah. It's but at least you're expressing it, right? That you're getting something. It was disturbing. It's disturbing for a for Someone a to woman watch. to witness, course, yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's something you need to get licked, sorted before kids come along. Yeah, because a baby's not going to understand that behaviour. So I was determined to get it fixed before then. And oh, I well did. done on that, because that's not easy. Are you going zero to hundred quickly, or is it building up? It would. It would be more bit of an argument. <sighs> I would never have an argument about coming home late. So, but you know, I'm late. Well, I was doing this. Yeah, but I'm working on it. And it would yeah. get to there. And she, uh, if someone comes in my face aggressive, mm. yeah, well, fuck you. Yeah, I can't handle it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, well, fuck this. <laughs> and that's when I would smash something. I wouldn't yeah. go, um, you're shouting in my face. I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm going to leave the house quietly. I would now. Yeah. I would now. See, um, I'm much more like that. I'm not a shouty, aggressive person at all. But I think that's me. But then I don't express anything. Do you know what I mean? As soon as yeah, we get so that's into too the far chat, the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like I've never shouted, ever. Wow, yeah. shouted? No, ever. I'm no, not. I, shout. I'm not a shout. I tend to miss out Is shouting. It not to shout? I tend to go from slightly raised voice. I used to tend to go from slightly raised voice to. Oh shit! A, a plaster? Can I get a plasterer, please? The wall, the hole through <laughs> wow. the wall, is it was would yeah. be my favourite move. So it's light switch. <laughs> Fist on a light switch, cracks, electrical wow. circuit exposed. It's a classic. Turn the light off like that as you leave the room. So we can all agree that's gone too far on account that you've lost control. Like Indeed. You, you weren't I mean, able to think, choose, Shouting probably would have been better. A slightly raised voice would have been, which I can now do. Yeah. I can now do, excuse me, I think you're in the wrong. No, but I can, I can have a discussion like that. Is it age? Is it the fact that I took active... I actively intervened. I went on. A, I went on this thing called the Hoffman process. Changed my life. Sorted me out. Google it. Look it up. Put a link on the website, please. And uh, so maybe it was that. I don't know. Are you? Are you must be. Come on. You've got Brazilian. I, I know. I, I, my friend. My friend. I was doing a gig with had a Brazilian wife. Fire. And we, we were queuing to get onto a flight. And we were connecting between two locations in a country to do these gigs. I won't say where in case it gives away the person. Let's just say France wasn't. And uh, we, missed, we missed the flight to Paris, let's say. And she went up to the counter and said, can I do this? You know, we now we have to go to a show. And the guy said no. And she got all of the leaflets and bits of paper on the desk. I was like, do you like this, sir? I do you like that? Oh, wow. And started distributing wow. paperwork over the airport. And going, fuck you, we missed that flight. Just gone like a fire. It's been great to watch. It was fantastic. <laughs> now, is she in the wrong? So cinematic. Are we in the wrong for our suppressed? As soon as we lose control, we're in the wrong, right? And I think you kind of, if you were to... I have quite a calculated way about my anger. So if you're like a zero to ten, yeah, I'm quite That's like an sounds archery terrifying. Or I know, isn't it bad? Pull the arrow back and <laughs> sometimes I want people to think I'm more angry than I actually right, am. Got Do you, you know yeah. what I mean? So, so it's I a might display. Yeah, anger. I might show them an eight, but I'm at five. It gets right. what I want where I need it, and oh, like good. that. So that's I mean, kind of that's really bad, isn't it? That's so well thought of. <laughs> I know. It's a bit serial killer. I really, yeah. <laughs> Let's just reflect back on how neat you like your fridges. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good, it's really, is it? I very, very rarely get. I'm on the patio and you're talking to him. <laughs> I told um, you to put the butter back, dear. <laughs> in the right way. Of course. Yeah, not just back in the <laughs> No, I'm obviously oh, going mental. on the correct shelf in that example. But I'm, I'm incredibly patient, I think, because of all the communication in advance of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just yeah. don't, I very rarely get angry. If I get angry, I'll be honest, I don't think there's anything wrong with shouting. Um, as long as you're not shouting in someone's face, it's not like you, da da da. Yeah. That's not on. No. But to raise your voice to express that you are really pissed off right now, that's okay. Yes. Um, but I don't, I don't lose control. No, door, not... so, so we've got no other door slammers. I used to be, when I was a teenager, uh, most of the doors in our house were off the hinges. There you go. Mm. I would, you I'd grew up it just constantly, a bit early in the middle of the I'd just constantly slam doors. It's just a really in a relationship, nice way of ending an argument with your mum. Just like, fuck you, and just slam a door. But yeah, just the house was ruined. I've already yeah, ironically, it. at home, I couldn't have done that due to the fact my dad is a silverback ape, or was. And if it was so much just slammed a door, that would have been the end of me. So were yeah. you having arguments in your house when you were growing up? Uh, I wouldn't have destroyed any of my old man's property <laughs> just for fear of but I always had up until about 10 years ago that version of my temper never against people thank god never even against other boys at school never laid a finger on another human being 
but always had a fist through the wall type mental temper, loss of control, let's call it. We could argue that the kid who's slamming the door and storming off and punching through walls is at least communicating their anger and I, possibly less dangerous than I the one who's saying nothing. I mean, let's be real here. Yeah, we're human. When I looked at the um, television screen crack, I didn't get, oh my good, what I've done. I was like, that's felt fucking great. Let's get on with the day. And then later on, I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm going to need a new telly. Uh, yeah. you, you do need to get rid of it somehow. This is really middle class and Jewish, but I went to therapy when I was six, seven years old. <laughs> yeah, really... Are you worried about being eight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even eight is a symbol of infinity, <laughs> but it's not. More and more kids on <laughs> it now, <laughs> now. Yeah, go on. Just do drawing, just used to do kids' drawing. But I, I found that actually doing drawing, for me, really helped. I really got into drawing then. And you've are, you gone on to do something with that, yeah. famously... A, a yeah. book of portraits. Yeah, yeah, and you're in it, mate. Um, Indeed, I am. Uh, so yeah, I do. Looking like David Schwimmer. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah, but it's uh, it, and now with Instagram, I kind of use it. It's good for good for that. And whenever I'm feeling low, I do I do do a bit of painting and do a bit of drawing. It makes me feel better. That seems so healthy. Yeah. Like I'm like I couldn't be further from any of that. Like so you're yeah. completely not even a voice raiser. No, it's so weird. Like, it go, it's where does it go, about, Tom? Where is it no, going? I have no idea. It's going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I've no gonna idea. Come out. Yeah, maybe one day. Does yeah. it just well, actually let's not constantly therapize, but maybe you just healthily disperse your anger without maybe. a need to show there's not a correct way. Yeah, like it's, like, or, it's weird like like the idea of What about your girlfriend? Is she a shouter? No, not really. No. We're both kind of we've only been together like 3 4 months. Well, so we're still in that honeymoon stage. Yeah, you're still not going to argue. Yeah, that, maybe I'm quite passive. I don't know, I feel quite chill. Like, I'm not really... I don't really get that pissed off about stuff. I get quite stressed about things. Mm. That gets to me. But, like, the idea of me impressing him and going to therapy at eight or, like, mm. even talking about these things is, in, is insane. So mm. I don't know whether I am... I've got something... I'm bottling things up and one day I'm going to go crazy. Or maybe I am just... That, a, could, that could be your biography, Green Bottles. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> <Dude, laughs> tell you what, sounds, <laughs> tell green you bottles, what sounds worrying <laughs> is that you don't even know. I don't know. Like, but you might be, by nature, just less chill, like, more chill. Yeah. Some people get to, you know, this yes. level, some people don't. We are all different. Yeah. Or you might be bottling that up. You or I'm a serial killer. That is one of the two. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. really safe right now. I know, I know what everyone wants to hear from this panel. They want to hear about the worst arguments we've had. If you're not comfortable doing it in your current relationship, feel free to use a previous. But really, we'd like it if it was your current one. This is uh, much more juicy. I mean, ever since my kid arrived, that just adds so much tension. There's what's so the, much wor what's the worst? When you're tired. Operatic. Um, I, think, I think when you start being tired, and it's the getting up. I remember early on, you know, when, you're argue when I've come back from a gig, you know, uh, and that, that argument, we didn't quite work out who should do the getting up. And I was the one getting, obviously getting in late from a gig and uh, a bit more reluctant to get up. Um, and she was doing a lot of the getting up. And when you're tired, you just sort of shout in. I think I, one of us ended up sleeping downstairs. I think when one of us sleeps downstairs, that's, mm. that's a, not so, a good sign. Now this is, again, I'm putting in trouble there, but for me, if I've got a gig tonight yeah. and a gig tomorrow, I've got to get my... I have to get my sleep. Yeah. I have yes. to, I'm not, like, shirking my night feed duties. I cannot do two hours of stand-up if I fed the baby yeah. three times during the night. I just can't. Yeah. So I know, like, it sucks that Lindsay's the one trapped at home with the baby, but we came to the conclusion... It, it, it felt so sexist and old-fashioned and wrong, but whoever... Well, it didn't need to be Lindsay, but whoever is doing that stay-at-home role, yeah. if the person needs a fresh brain for what they're doing to pay the bills, then it, to me, that is not an argument. Yeah. You've got to get, you've got to get seven hours unbroken. It's not, I'm not, like, shirking. I don't, it's not like I don't want to be involved with my daughter. I've got to get seven hours sleep. I don't do the gig. Pick one. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Is, is that That's healthy order? debate. No, it's not out of order. Actually, I do exactly the same the other way around at home. Right. Um, if I've got work to do and like also keep in mind we kind of have to look good for our job you can't show up looking shattered tired and there's certain expectations they have of you and your brain's got to be you know you've got to be thinking you've got to be ready to talk and ready to do everything you need to do you could argue that 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 Lindsay has to do a whole day with a baby next the next day yeah. on two hours sleep and which one's harder True. being with the child's True. a heck of a lot harder yeah. we could argue that way True. 
But um, we're doing what we're doing for them anyway. So, Amazing. yeah, I have exactly the same situation What's at home. My biggest row you've ever had with your fellow then? Mr. Perfect there. <laughs> Mr. Perfect. Did you do too many leg days or something? <laughs> Spending too much time volunteering. Do you know, <laughs> the Stop biggest row is in the probably evening. my <laughs> fault. Do you know what I mean? The biggest row is probably my fault. Oh, we're God. good at communicating. We're good at communicating. You know why? Because he gets angry. Did you host a boat party with David Gandhi? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, he's thought. so sexy, David Gandhi. It's annoying, isn't it? Do you know it? what? Though it is, oh god, I've got to be careful telling this story. Like, no, he's just pan, he's the pants model. But, you know, uh, but thankfully, he's a carpenter and a commoner, so it's fine. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> Similar to your situation, I didn't do something particularly wrong, but I was um, in Brazil for the World Cup. Um, my husband was at home. We just got engaged. No baby. Actually, you, good point on the baby thing, though. Arguments post baby for us have always been a lot easier. Like we were conscious of solving it so that it wasn't around the kid. Like uh, you kind of have point. to do that. It's part of growing so up. What right? did you do in Brazil? Tell me. So shared the uh, shared the after game hot tub with Ronaldo. Uh, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be, that's the worst. That would. No. Uh, <laughs> he asked my... Lindsay out. Ronaldo asked Lindsay no out. No way. Like, Fuck it. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. Good for him. <laughs> my um, husband. I logged him into my Instagram so that he could post that's whilst I was in some stadiums because when you're at the football matches, the signal's low, and it was so important for me that I was tweeting about or Instagramming about and posting about the game at the time. Yep. Not too much, because you don't want people to think you're not watching the game, but I'm watching the game, he's posting for me, right? That Fantastic. was the situation that we were having during the 2014 World Cup. Um, he wasn't that, he was in England, yeah. right? Missing out on an amazing World Cup. He's a football fan too, so he's gutted he's not there. Um, and I interviewed a Barcelona player, we won't mention who, um, whilst in Brazil. And he was young at the time. He wasn't playing in the World Cup. He was just young there. And he said this, by the way, this is in a studio of like 21 people that I interviewed him. And he said to everyone afterwards, oh, you know, I'm here with my dad. I don't even know Rio that well. He's from a different part of Brazil. And he was saying like, I, I want to hang out. Like, where are you guys going? Where are you guys partying? And we all had a chat. For me, it's super unprofessional, even though I wanted to as a friend. So it'd be like, oh, take my number. I'll tell you where we're going. I didn't because it's not professional when you're like interviewing a star footballer. So I didn't, but everyone else in the room was like, oh yeah, we're going to this restaurant, probably around this time, not sure, it wasn't nailed down. Mm. Then we left. He's not gonna find the runner on Instagram, is right. he? He's not gonna find the cameraman who he spoke to. All these people you made I'm friends with. I'm feeling the husband's insecurities. Oh my <laughs> God. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, the fiance's insecurities. <laughs> who does he find on Instagram? Me. And the message that he That's wrote good. in Portuguese, which my husband had to Google Translate, oh, was... Oh, no, it's a sexy language already. Aubergine. <laughs> 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 so the message that he wrote was, a, oh, you know, shit. the tail end of a conversation that had already happened. Oh, it was just so... This is a good cover so... story. You've done this for <laughs> yeah. really well. So it what? was the tail end. <laughs> there was loads of people in the room. Everyone was laughing. Yeah. It's a true story. So the, the message that was sent was, so what time am I meeting you then? Wow. Oh. It wasn't, oh, are we going to, could you want to go to dinner? Oh, it was what God, time? I feel sick. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel physically sick, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. So right now he's just got engaged to a girl who works in football, is in Brazil with this gorgeous footballers, and he's just written, what time are we meeting then? As in, like, you've agreed. I can tell yeah. from the way he's written it that you've agreed to meet him somewhere and what are you doing? <laughs> And um, we had to have this really FaceTime on random hours because with eight hour difference, really difficult conversation mm. and argument about how I ended up just saying, look, I work in football. You scroll down those DMs, it's bad. Like there's a lot of shit. You're gonna have to just get over it because you're either gonna have a really, live a really jealous life. I'm away with footballers on a male orientated site. Like everyone's male all the time. So you're either gonna always be jealous well, you're going to have to trust me. And I'm telling you the story of what happened. We're going to go to a restaurant with him. Our crew is going to... I'm not going to tell the whole crew you can't take him out because my husband's jealous. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're all going to this restaurant at this time. And then, I don't know, if we go to a bar or whatever, I'll leave if it makes you feel that uncomfortable. But should you really be interfering in that? Like, when it's innocent? No. And it was a case of you're going to be jealous the rest of your life or you got to trust me. So it you, wasn't easy. He resolved, <laughs> he resolved it. That's a good argument. He, that. he gets better and better. Oh, it yeah. was yeah. tough. It was tough. What's the worst one you've had, Joe? Oh, worst argument. Um, yeah. uh, you don't really do explosive then. We don't. We don't. We probably do. It's not. It's normally around the kid. It's normally some sort of argument around feeding him. I, 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 good, one of us is good cop. One of us is bad cop. I mean, I like to be liked. It's, you know, the stand-up thing. So I will do kind of whatever my kid wants 
I mean, I, I I sort of try and be, you know, the bad cop, but yeah, yeah, I, I just, I just want to be liked. I just want him to be happy, and I, I will give him a chocolate or right. something like that. So there's probably so been one of those. The other cop. It's a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, she's the strict one, and uh, as a result, he is a bit more like, oh, daddy, daddy, you can have a chocolate. My diabetes is hurting. <laughs> 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 yeah, a little bit, a little bit. That's, so it's probably one of those. So, so it's, maybe it's a stand-up thing, but li- maybe, well, maybe it's just a work away from home thing. Some of the biggest rows are if I forget little tokens or symbols. Oh my of, god! I notice you, and the thing that kicks it off. There, I've, this is the finishing topic here, to do with arguments, and we're done. Cards. There is a gender difference in greeting cards. I'm currently doing stand up about it. Women the, the, seem to profoundly care about if you remember to get them a card, a happy birthday card. I couldn't give a fuck. I hate all cards. I hate all forms of them. <laughs> Massively overpriced. They annoy me. Whereas, so I think one year, like I did, I did flowers, surprise weekend away to the hotel flower. Yeah, where's my fucking car? There is no 99p <laughs> bit of fucking paper. It's because it's the thing that conveys the genuine sentiment and emotion. Yeah. Yeah. If I forget a token or something like that, that's when we we default into how dare you? All the hours I'm working, <laughs> and I sound like my dad or something. I've forgotten a stupid fucking girl. It's what it means, Russell. You got to understand it's important to me. And then <laughs> we're fucking off at each other's Is it throats. the piece of paper or is it what you write in it? It's is it both. The writing? Well, there is no writing. You can't air write, can you? So there's no. <laughs> but write- do you write a lot or do you just write Happy Birthday? <laughs> no, I, 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 if, you know, I'm a verbal person, so you, you get you get know you get a sonic, so that's sonic what's minimum. Important. Like if I am out single ever again, it's twelve line sonic minimum. <laughs> 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 Rhyming cup here at the end, naturally, but no, but you know, it's that's funny enough. Is some of the biggest rounds, like Mother's Day, for example, just gone. I cannot get my fucking head around. Uh, Lindsay's like, don't forget to get me a card. You didn't give birth to me, right? <laughs> if the child is not old enough to give a card yet. You ain't getting a fucking card. Oh, <laughs> but she's Sorry. a mama. She wants to be... <laughs> no, I've said it. <laughs> she's You've a gone mama. there. Sorry, she's every man watching day. this. I know, but I need to speak for all the men that are too scared to admit they feel the same as me. Oh, God. If uh, I don't expect a Father's Day card from a milk slug fetus that can't like, write yet, <laughs> when Minna is ready, she, will, she can be taken to the shops, pick a card herself, and write it great. If she asks to do it, great. I don't want some fake ass pretend gifting shit. So, like, you, yeah, even yeah. though you are a father. Of course, I did it like a eunuch broke. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did. But it doesn't take away my to, anger. You're happy to miss out on Father's Day? No, I want I want Mina to say Happy Father's Day, and when she's I don't need but a so card. Look, you don't the think it's a big deal? Do you? I don't think you think it's a big deal. It's the I, fact that you didn't get a Father's Day card is not a big deal for you. If, if Min is not ready, I do. I'm not. I don't want to act Lindsay to pretend like I'm her daddy. The shit like that makes me feel sick. If, if I see uh, she's like, I've got the Daddy's Day card for you. Don't touch me. Don't come near me for a week. Yeah. <laughs> when my daughter is ready, she will do it. She, uh, now she can do this little painting at nursery with her hands. Her hair. I love you, Daddy. Great. I love it. Cry like a bitch. But it's the, it, I don't get, come on, Joe, don't leave me hanging here. <laughs> fake right. Mother's, well, fake I, I, Mother's I'm Day. I'm a bit torn, I'm a bit torn, because oh. I make greetings cards. So, uh, you know, I'm all for buying greetings cards. Oh, Joe, you are so He's marketing, that's a plug. I'm really absolutely torn. scared Just of broadcast. Just marketing right now. <laughs> Broken prisoner. Yeah, Sorry. it's all that. <laughs> Tom, you're going to leave me hanging. I don't know what you've done. I mean, the you are so come incredibly on. well-rounded, it's unreal. Thanks. Tom, do you find cards annoying? Yeah, I do. I got shouted out by my girlfriend last there week. There we are. There's an argument flashpoint. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't buy my mum a Mother's Day. Well, she forced me to get my mum a Mother's Day card. So and then your, she was like, your girlfriend's forcing you to get your mum a Mother's Day card. Yeah, my mum just fucked up. My mum doesn't need girl. it. My mum, my mum knows that I love her. Sarah Green, you know I love you. You know, I don't need to get her a candle and send a candle. It's a waste of money. Mm. It's, I mean, a waste yeah. of your money. <laughs> yeah, a waste of my money. But she likes it. My mum. Yeah. I don't know. So does she? So chances are I'll get her a fucking card. Right? I, well, I did. I right. wrote it in Sainsbury's. I, I, I feel like an is about to break out. We are out. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the end of the show. That's all for Boys Don't Cry this week. Thank you, our friends at ASOS, for making it look like I got pecs. And thanks to my guests, Tom Green, Joe Boy, and of course, Layla Anna Lee. Please get her a card if you bump into her. <laughs> so don't forget, we're a podcast and a YouTube show. Leave us a review or a comment if you like. If you don't, why not send us some sort of commemorative greeting card to see what's your show? Really enjoyed it. No, don't bother. Those cards are shit. <laughs> Thank you for watching Boys Don't Cry with Russell Kane, brought to you by Joe, together with ASOS.